Hey guys, Nathan Brandon Masters. I didn't have a lot of time today, but I did have this, and this one's gonna be a straight banger because you all know what this is. This is Tom Cruise from Risky Business, and as some of you probably already know where I'm going with this classic Mandela Effect, classic Mandela Effect, and that is Tom Cruise in Risky Business with the shades. That's right, with the shades. Now, everybody sees this when they think on this, they think back, they go, he had on shades and that. He had the cool shades, he's doing the cool moves. He's a cool guy. And uh, you guys probably know I'm using stills because this has, uh, the actual video has uh, audio and visuals that are uh, copywritten and yeah, it, it could be a problem, even though this would be considered fair use. So we're just going to skip all over that and just jump to the main point. Now, this is actually a recreation of this scene from a company called Rum 30, and they do visual effects. I'll put a link in the uh, description, and you can go check it out. They did the scene with the shades. They put the shades on him. But this is what the scene is. And I tried to get the best screenshot here uh, that I could with it being in motion. I tried to get the, the same shots. But what you can tell is that he's not wearing shades in this clip. And this is the actual clip. Now, the thing about this is I've only seen Risky Business once, okay? I, back in that day, I was not a huge Tom Cruise fan. Uh, as a matter of fact, the only time I even watched a Tom Cruise film before Mission Impossible was uh, Interview with a Vampire. And then uh, he did Mission Impossible, and I was kind of like, oh, this is going to be some bull crap. And then I saw Mission Impossible, and I was like, oh, oh, he, he, he pulled that off. That was, that was pretty good. And then I, I kind of went back to going like, oh, what, well, you know, okay, whatever. I'm not going to probably be watching too much Tom Cruise. And then, like, years later, it's like, oh, what, Mission Possible 10? Yeah, I'll go see that. But uh, back then, I wasn't watching a lot of uh, Tom Cruise, so I can't exactly say uh, what's what. Uh, I'll say this. The one thing I remember about Risky Business is this scene. And in my mind he will forever have shades on. Now, I've seen people reenact this scene. You've seen people reenact this scene probably, and it's always underwear, shirts, shades. Now, what you're looking at here is a reenactment of that same scene. It's from a show called ALF. This is the uh, type of show that uh, boomers uh, like myself used to watch. Uh, it's a show about an alien living with a human family. And this is... <laughs> <laughs> this was the height of entertainment back in my day. So, with that being the case, Alf was from the 90s. I think the show started in 1990, and uh, Risky Business came out in 1983. So, let's just say seven years apart. I don't know exactly when this particular uh, episode aired, so I'm just going to go with seven. We'll say seven to ten years apart. So, uh, this show is closer to that time period than we are, and in this reenactment, he has on shades. This is from an episode of The Nanny, Fran Drescher's uh, old show. And I, I love me some Fran, so you know I was all over this show. In this reenactment, he has on shades. In fact, there's a whole video that shows reenactments of this, basically showing that everyone who reenacted this had on shades as part of the reenactment. So this is some more of that residue. We talked about that residue, and uh, they're literally showing this for the same reason I'm talking about it. It's because, you know, where'd the shades go? And on top of that, not only did he just wear shades, he wore a specific type of shades. He wore Ray-Bans. So people even know the exact type of shades he wore in that scene. So I got links in the description if you want to check all that stuff out. Also, there's a link in the description to Hexcraft Mechanics 2. This is a 56-page urban fantasy action comic written and drawn by me. So if you want to see some supernatural butt kicked and names took, this is probably where you want to go. All right, guys, you take it easy. Nathan Brandon Masters, I'll check you tomorrow. Hasta.
Don't look back, we're here to stay A life we knew would come one day And this is it, the borderline To where the future leaves us behind The fire will burn and never die Looking through the eyes of a brand new life It's so